video game intros and title screen presents a Donkey Kong Country intro analysis. You might be thinking to yourself, what's the point of all this? Isn't it just a basic introduction with no meaning whatsoever? Aren't you just supposed to mash the start button as fast as possible in order to start playing? While some games get you straight to the title screen and omit taking the time to flesh out the gaming experience before you even have to press a single button, other developers try to tell a story or set the tone for what is going to be a great gaming experience. Today, we'll have a look at a very popular title and well-known franchise that has revolutionized platformers, and of course I am talking about Donkey Kong Country. Developed by Rare and published by Nintendo on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in November of 1994, Donkey Kong Country, or DKC for short, quickly became a smash hit and spawned two sequels as well as more games in the franchise, developed by Retro Studios on the Nintendo Wii, Wii U and now on the Nintendo Switch. DKC was the first game to use pre-rendered graphics on a console, a revolution for its time and a big selling point. But let's skip the history lessons here and let's dive in on the boot up sequence. First up, we get the Rare logo, starting with a 3D mesh with the golden yellow and blue colors being added after, setting the tone for what is to follow, letting us know that this game is all about pre-rendered graphics. Even that Nintendo logo is 3D rendered, with nice little shiny lights being reflected, accentuating the fact that this is going to be something special graphically. The little fanfare that plays with the Rare logo becomes a staple and is done in different ways in their follow-up games on Super Nintendo. We then have Cranky Kong turning the crank on his music player, and the song that's playing, if you hadn't recognized it, is the theme song from the original Donkey Kong, so we can presume that Cranky Kong is the original Donkey Kong character from those games, the one throwing barrels at Mario, and he is reminiscing of the old days. Even the red metal platforms are throwbacks to the original game. And then comes Donkey Kong with his boombox, playing an updated version of the theme, and the graphics change to show the luscious, vibrant green jungles we are about to play through and the first world of the game. Obviously, the old Cranky Kong gives a taste of his barrel throwing prowess to the young Donkey Kong, sends a TNT barrel his way, the explosion creating a flash to transition smoothly to the title screen. If you wait a bit longer and let the intro run a second time, there is a 3D rolling effect and image flipping animation that happens on the title screen, which is a nice little touch and a nice way to show off. It's interesting to note that the FX chip wasn't needed for this game at all, making all of this even more impressive. And this is all I had for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this deeper look at the intro and title screen of one of Super Nintendo's best and most influential game, and we hope to see you back again on this channel for our next analysis. In the meantime, back to watching more classic game intros. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well as share with your friends and family. And thanks for watching.